Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, cooking up some blueberry pulled pork sandwiches. So I'm going to be smoking a couple butts on the new second generation Rectech pellet grill. And then a buddy of mine gave me uh, his recipe for a uh, crock pot based blueberry barbecue sauce that we're basically just going to uh, mix the pulled pork into and uh, and serve up some tasty sandwiches. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've got two butts here. These are uh, both nine pound butts. As typical, uh, I've just got them uh, rubbed down with some cheap yellow mustard that's going to act as a binder. What I'm, what I'm going to rub them down with tonight is the Oak Ridge Dominator. Um, it's a sweet rib rub and I, I typically just use this rub on ribs um, because I normally use some of uh, Oak Ridge other uh, rubs like the Secret Weapon on um, butts like this, but this uh, Dominator rub works extremely well on butts. So I'm just going to go ahead with a shaker and get a nice uh, liberal coating on all sides so we can form up a nice bark. All right, I'm just finishing up this fat cap side on the second one, and these are pretty much ready to go. So uh, we'll pick up outside of the Rectech. All right, we've got our Rectech RT680 preheated to 225. I'm going to be running 225 all night long. So we're going to go ahead and get these two. Big old massive nine pound butts on here. This Rectech's gonna handle these like a champ. And you'll see here on this one, hopefully you can see this, I've already got a probe in it. I'm gonna uh, be using my Thermaworks Smoke uh, wireless uh, thermometer to keep an eye on these tonight. So I'll have a link of that in, uh, to that review of that product in my video description. But uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this ledge, uh, uh, lid shut let these go overnight and we'll pick back up in the morning. All right guys, it has been right at 20 hours uh, on these two butts. They just hit uh, 195 on the internal temp. You can see we have this amazing bark that formed here. So the Rectech did a phenomenal job as usual with uh, cooking these butts. So we're gonna go ahead and get these pulled, let them rest for a couple hours in some foil and a cooler and then we're gonna pull them and uh, get them tossed in our blueberry sauce in just a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our ingredients for our blueberry sauce here. So you wanna just start with a large bottle of barbecue sauce. I'm just using the regular Sweet Baby Ray's. And then we've got a jar of blueberry preserves, a jar of grape jelly, a small bag of frozen blueberries, and then lastly, we've got a package of beef uh, Little Smokies. And so I asked my buddy what the purpose of the Little Smokies was. And he said it just adds this nice greasy goodness uh, type texture to the sauce. And then, um, you know, we're going to throw all this in the crock pot. And when the sauce is done, we're going to pull the Little Smokies out. And then you can munch on those as an appetizer. All right, so we're going to start with our barbecue sauce. And our grape jelly and our blueberry preserves, our frozen blueberries, and then our little smokies. And then we're just going to stir all this up. And we're going to put the lid on this and let this go for five to six hours right around there and uh, then we'll check back in then. All right, so I've got one of our butts here that's been resting for a couple hours. We're gonna go ahead and get it out of the foil. Oh my gosh, this thing smells amazing. And then this is what you want to see where you can just take your hands with some nice uh, gloves like this and look, that thing is just going to disintegrate. Bone just comes straight out of it. 
and the meat is literally just melted apart. I'm using very little force here. And it is absolutely buttery smooth. Cooking these butts on the rec tech is one of my favorite things to do. Always comes out great time and time again. You can see just how just buttery fall apart smooth that is. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, get these little smokies out of this sauce and then get this added into the sauce. Okay, so our sauce here ended up going about, I let it go about seven hours. And so you're just gonna wanna uh, take a spatula and remove the little smokies. A lot of the, uh, you know, some of the uh, blueberries that may still be intact might, you know, you might kind of catch some of those, but a lot of them have broken down. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove all these and then we're gonna set these aside for an appetizer for our guests. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our pulled pork into this amazing, amazing looking sauce. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up into this amazing looking sauce. We're gonna put the lid back on and you can just keep this on warm until it's ready to serve up your, your sandwiches. So we're gonna let this uh, kind of get good and mixed in, sit just for a bit, and then we'll build ourselves out an, a nice looking blueberry pulled pork sandwich. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and build out a nice little blueberry pulled pork sandwich here. Just pile this up high. I already tried it, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do a proper pulled pork sandwich just like that. Oh my gosh, this looks ridiculous. Check that out. Woo, man. We're gonna have to try this out. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that is just, that is unreal good. Some of the best pulled pork I've ever had. Um, man, if you like kind of sweeter barbecue sauces, you absolutely have to try this out. Just the, the way that blueberry pops with that nice slow smoke pork is just unreal good. Pretty straightforward recipe too, not a whole lot involved. Um, try this out at your next cookout. Serve these up to your friends and family. Let me know what you think in the comments and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.